Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is another promo Friday today. Foot Captains 2 is here, but that's just the start of all that is going on in this game right now at the moment. We have new cards coming in packs today. Foot Captains promo cards, new Hero Captains cards. We have numbers of upgrades, potential road to the final upgrades. We have a team of the season voting date that is announced. There's a countdown on an official EA website to that vote which is actually going to be on sunday so i'm going to talk about that if ea released some sort of information about that today on the game could that cause some market panic we'll talk through all of those things and a lot about the market because there's a lot going on with yesterday ea dropping the ball with content marquee matchups and the puyol icon moments sbc we never even received it um and even i'm checking right now i have i'm not seeing ea tweet anything out about regular marquee matchups of course we have uefa marquee matchups but regular marquee matchups was never released and they said it was their issue uh that they forgot to release it so uh we're gonna have that content from yesterday like live today or at some point soon as of recording this it's not live so there's a lot going on in this game at the moment, but if you're excited for Foot Captains team number two, hit the thumbs up on the video, and of course, subscribe if you are new. That's what I want to start off the video by talking about, and then we'll move into market and team of the season voting, and then all the other little things that are going on on this game as well. The biggest part of today, of course, is the team that is coming in packs. Now, finally, all right, finally, we're seeing this Marcelo card. We've been talking about this guy now for like a week and a half. Marcelo Busquets are the top two biggest names for foot captains promo cards coming out today the list here doesn't look as good um as we thought it was going to end up looking payette pellegrini ward prowse trimmel boyata jose fonte um now of course this would not be all the cards and packs we're probably missing a few and i would assume that the full team will be leaked this morning on friday but as of right now it is not uh, leaked just yet now one thing we do know is that we're going to get a lemoyne objective french card and that Cahill SBC is what is expected to drop today as our content. Now, it's not confirmed 100%, but that's the uh, the Tim Cahill hero card. That's the one that we are expecting today to be uh, our card in the game. And Lemoyne, by the way, if you did not know that, he is a French center defensive mid, and these are his leaked card stats as well. So, you know, content today is looking like it's going to be decent. But I think what people are really, really excited about, once again, is these guys the keen card right and evidently this is uh some news to me i saw some people tweeting about this that some of these heroes i think it's a betty pele keen cole and then there'll be one more i'm not sure who that one more is going to be uh cordoba hopefully i'm really excited to see if, if there's any cordoba leaks i have not seen them i'm you know very excited to see cordoba's card i think he's going to be in either in the mini release or out today on friday but some of these cards are already in packs somebody tweeted me tonight uh, that they packed a Betty Pele, and I saw somebody else on Twitter that packed the brand new version of Robbie Keane. So EA's got a lot of issues right now at the moment as well. They still have not compensated people from the Foot Captain's hero cards from last Friday, where they were giving out the wrong version of these heroes, right? They were giving out Base Dempsey, Milito, Di Natale, and Yunberg instead of the hero captain's item. So they still haven't fixed that issue yet, and it looks like they have another issue going on, giving out the promo cards that aren't supposed to be out yet. So this seems to be a very few small uh, or in between like not happening to a lot of people issue but that is something that is going on right now on this game now let's stop it here and talk about the market right that's kind of the content that we're expecting today on this game let's talk market right last week the market went crazy if you guys remember because all the foot captains cards were so cheap on this game because so many people had saved up packs now i have saved up packs still because i'm saving those for team of the season but again as of right now i don't think there's as many saved up packs on this game i don't think you're going to see as insane of a level of supply on fifa today on the market for the brand new heroes captains 2 cards as you did last week so if you're trying to like buy cards in the first hour today because you think it's going to be like last week i really doubt it's going to be the exact same unless ea would drop preview packs that would be the only thing in my opinion is a preview pack, which they have not done in a long time. Still potential for it, but um, that'd be the only thing today that would cause those foot captains two cards to be incredibly, incredibly cheap in the first hour and then rise up later. They're still going to be supplied a decent amount, right? I mean, the pack weight on these cards, oh, they're 
Prac probabilities are unavailable due to maintenance. Bro, maintenance was yesterday, EA. Honestly, I think that the maintenance is what caused the issues with the content dropping as well. It's kind of messed up a lot of stuff. So GG's to EA Sports. They kind of screwed up their own game by running six hours of maintenance uh, yesterday. Anyways, uh, I think it was like 7.5% or something like that from 100k pack for foot captain's cards. Um, I think that the percentage will probably be around the same today for the foot captain's team number two. You're going to have cards that are really cheap today from the squad, just like we've had um, cheap cards from team one. Like uh, Dubois has been really, really cheap. You know, so, some of these guys on the lower tier. They're, they're, you know, 20, 30,000 coins. You're going to have plenty of cards like that in Captain's Team 2 today, but you're going to have your more expensive items too, like the Marcelo, like the Busquets, stuff like that. I just don't expect them to have that first hour really, really low price, then rebound up later. They'll probably kind of have more of an even price and then drop off through the weekend, um, unlike how some of the Captains did from last week. So that's just one thing to kind of look at today. Now, one thing I'll say about the Foot Captains Team 1 that are going out of packs there's actually a lot to talk about in regards to this. We have to be very, very careful with these cards today because there's two things that will continue to supply these cards on the market, even today on Friday before they go out of packs. If you guys were looking to invest, we don't have marquee matchups yet. Again, right? This is the tweet from EA saying, we are aware of issue uh, that is preventing marquee matchups and icon SBCs. The Puyol icon moments SBC is the one they're referring to here. His loan and his regular version. I think that's why this is plural. Uh, from appearing in game, please stay tuned for updates. No updates. This was, uh, you know, eight, nine hours ago from when they posted uh, this, this message. And we have no news just yet. But I would imagine that they would drop the marquee matchups at least... You, you would think that it might be before 6 p.m. today. It might not be, but just be careful with these foot captain's cards before they go out of packs. They didn't get extra supply yesterday because of those marquee matchups, and EA did not run lightning rounds. But if marquee matchups drops early today on Friday, that's going to drop these cards' prices on the market even lower. And also, people are going to open their weekend league rewards that they get. Uh, people finish weekend league like really, really early on Fridays nowadays to get their games done and out of the way and, and get packs. Um, and they're going to open them up. So there is going to be a bit of supply on these cards today. Just be very careful with those if you're still trying to make a last minute investment. Um, you know, some of these cards went up a bit because that lack of supply yesterday that we didn't end up seeing. So just be careful with these. And specifically, again, Melito, Dempsey, Di Natale, Junberg, uh, there's going to be more supply for those whenever EA do compensation. And I'm surprised they have not done it yet because that was tweeted out, again, a week ago was the issue, last Friday and Saturday. So you would hope that it would be resolved pretty soon. But EA is kind of in the mud right now with uh, the stuff that happened yesterday, the, the compensation that they're deserving to pay out from last week. And then again, people packing the brand new Hero Moments cards already. Our hero captain's cards already, which is which is kind of wild. So that's kind of what's going on with the market now. Just to speak really quickly about you know some out of packs cards, um, I know that some of these have rebounded back up a little bit um, on the market. Some you know we had some really really great content this week, which drove prices down a decent amount. You know Jude Bellingham right now is 1.45, right? Let's say there's some panic selling on a card that's out of packs today. It, as long as there's not going to be a new card coming on the game today for foot captains team two or something like that that would be a like replacement or a substitute item where somebody would say oh my goodness i'm gonna sell this jude bellingham because there is a um center mid that looks cracked from the bundesliga that's going to be released right that's not something that we have today or like you wouldn't expect a word prouse who's getting a card today to drop this Bellingham price, just using that as an example, of course, um, you know, if you see some panic selling on out of packs cards today, then uh, you might have a potential to buy and flip some from some of those from a rebound. If the content's not that great, I've been selling some of the Lucas Hernandez that I have because I bought those under 220k. So I'm making some profits. And we are getting another center back today from the Bundesliga Boyata. And this guy looks kind of cracked. He's medium high. He's uh, six foot two. He has decent agility balance for his overall dribbling and great defensive and physical stats and a pretty solid pace split. Uh, so this could be another really cheap Bundesliga center back that would come out today that might hurt Lucas Fernandez's price a little bit. So I'm just taking the safe route and taking some cash 
on that card right now. But I think if you see panic selling today on really rare cards, like we always look for on Fridays, you're going to be able to make some quick flips on the market and make some coins because I don't think people are scared of buying. And I really don't think that because you saw some peak panic selling during the week kind of take place. Guys, remember like Sancho was 630K, I believe right now. Yeah, he's almost back to 700, he's 700,000 coins, right? Now, there might be some panic selling on this today because of a Joe Cole item that is rumored to come out. So just watch the parts of the market today that are out of packs. There will be potentials for flips with panic selling that you see, as always, on Promo Fridays. That's a mainstay, right? So just kind of keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. The more rare, the more hype, the more meta it is, the better if you're trying to make coins. Now, you're like, Nate, you mentioned that you don't think the market's going to crash today, but you also talked about team of the season. Yes, I did combine those two things in the same sentence. Lads, this is the website. I'll put a link to this down below in the description if you wanna go click it and, and look at it for yourself. This is the website that shows a countdown. It's an official EA website, by the way. It's, it's ea.com backslash games backslash FIFA 22. This, there's nothing shady about this. Um, they're counting down to community team of the season voting, which starts on Sunday. April 17th. And that's going to be the beginning of our legit team of the season hype, which is really cool, right? It's nice to know that we know when voting is going to be out. And I believe this is almost the same time frame that they use for team of the year. So a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, voting starts April 17th. That means team of the season is going to be on the 22nd of Friday, which would be a week from today. This, in my opinion, that would be too short of a time frame, right? If, if they're going to release voting on the 17th, then they have to let it be out for at least a week. That's going to take us to next Sunday. Then they have to figure out who were the highest voted cards. They have to get those cards, figure out the stats, send it all out, get their graphics and all everything sorted. This pretty much for me staples and pencils it in that team of the season community tots is going to start on April 29th. Now, if there's anything different in there, then we'll see. That's just my guess. That's my estimate at this point, but it's nice to know that we're having official communication about when team of the season is going to start. This is only the website. And I'm pretty sure today um, when I saw this tweeted out, it wasn't actually tweeted out by all the different EA accounts like EA sports FIFA um, on Twitter. When I went down and, and looked through here, there's literally nothing. So I think it was only posted on a couple of different, like different languages, like eSports FIFA, like eSports. I think it was maybe the German account that posted uh, this website. I, I don't even know where this link kind of came up from or if it was just discovered in that way. But if there's official stuff released today on Friday about the team of the season vote and a countdown for that or a loading screen, that could cause a little bit of selling on the market because people know what team of the season means. But I really feel like that this would not impact the market that much. Um, until most likely Sunday, right? Sunday when this is actually out, when there's a vote and people start to see the cards and who they can put in for their team of the season, that's when you're going to start to see people maybe start to sell some more cards. And this weekend, like we talked about, this weekend and into next week are going to be the prime times for watching more panic selling, especially if EA drop really good content, really good SBCs, then we could see some more prices dropping on the market. So also you have, you have an Mbappe, uh, that is in team of the week this week. So there's weekend league demand, right? And people are trying to get as many packs as they can to save up for either team of the season or they're trying to get packs just to open up during this current promo. So there's a, there's a gameplay demand at the app. Absolutely, there's a gameplay demand right now. So don't let you don't let that think you that just because a team of the season thing is going to be posted or it's starting to be talked about that there's going to be a ton of panic selling. I don't think that's going to happen just yet. It's going to take some more official in-game announcements, loading screens, and the actual vote to be released to start to speed up the rest of that panic selling. Um, on this game, kind of what we've been looking for for our buy time before team of the season. So that's kind of my thoughts right there on everything related to the team of the season aspect that we learned from yesterday. Now let's talk about more content from actually coming today. And we'll go back to yesterday here in a second. Uh, Road to the final upgrades should be dropping very soon because this is also something that's been happening on some Fridays. Now, sometimes they don't do these until Saturdays. I don't understand how Gareth Bale is 322K. He's getting a plus one. I understand that these road to the finals, after they've achieved an upgrade status, a lot of them actually go down in price. I know it seems counterintuitive, but it's just because people, um, it's all about the upgrades for these. And once they get the upgrades, then people are like, oh, okay, well, 
sweet, you know? So uh, this Gareth Bale card is kind of down, but he's getting a plus one today. The really big question that we have, and I, I don't know what EA is going to do with this, um, especially for some of these cards like Kyle Walker, um, Tiago, uh, and, and cards like this who were not live in the game at when EA released the first set of Road to the Final cards. So like this Walker right now is 448. We don't know if this card is getting a plus one today or a plus two. Two. That's the biggest question for like Walker and Tiago. Um, you know, if if EA is going to count that win that they just had uh, in the first leg or the second leg, depending on which team it was, um, if that's going to count for their first knockout win since these cards were not in packs earlier on, um, or uh, what they're going to do with this. So I'm very intrigued to see if we get plus twos. I hope that we do. A Tiago with a plus two would be cracked. A Walker with a plus two would be cracked. Um, and then maybe even as we've talked about in the past couple weeks as well, technically Liverpool did not win a game. They, they won their first game um, before the uh, Champions League Road to the Final cards were first released. So like team one of Road to the Final with this Mane, he's only gotten plus one so far. He didn't get that first initial win upgrade. He was released as a 91, I believe. So I don't know what's going to happen, man. I really don't. EA can do whatever they want to do, as they always do. Uh, but based on what their website says, I think there should be some plus twos today. So we'll see. Again, I'm, j I'm just trying to leave it an open door because EA Sports is just crazy with being inconsistent this year, more crazy than ever. So there's that. Now, also, we had the Adidas up numbers up upgrades out of nowhere yesterday, the 14th of April. I'm pretty sure that EA said it was going to be the end of April is when they upgraded these cards. So I guess the 14th and the first half of the month to them is the end of April for whatever reason. But they upgraded the Adidas numbers up cards yesterday to their final stats of 99. So plus one in every single stat. And then in their uh, featured stat, depending on what boot the player wears, once again, uh, they go up to 99. So all these cards are up in price. Like Felix is up like 150,000 coins. Militao is up like almost 200K, I think. 470, 480K for Militao. He was like 300K yesterday. Crazy rises on all of these cards. If you have any of them, take the money. Honestly, take the money while they're hyped up right now, while they're very up in price take the cash because yes 99s are cool stats but a lot of these cards are still behind the curve militao with the 89 dribbling is still a pretty meta card felix and jota those are probably the top three but a lot of the other items like a regulon who is like a hundred thousand coins right now like the fact I, I mean i'm a spurs guy right and i love regulon because he's on the spurs team right and he's one of my boys but the fact this guy's like a hundred thousand coins right now with the stats that he has there's so many better cards in this game than Regulon that still have a lot of pace and way better defense, physical, and every stats all around. So I understand why these cards are expensive because of type. You know, they just got the upgrades. But as long as you're just trying to make coins on one of these cards or you want to sell at the right time, I think that like, you know, right now is is the sell time. 100%, no questions asked. Where's Di Maria right now? Oh my goodness, 330. This guy was 200K yesterday. Look at that crazy Crazy rise on these cards. Selling the hype 100% on these cards is my opinion um, for those cards in the game. Now, I haven't spoken about fodder yet. And, you know, who's surprised? Usually TFA leaves fodder conversation for the end of the video. These cards are still up. Once again, we didn't have any supply yesterday. So you had rewards. You had people getting in tradable cards, doing player picks, going out and finishing SBCs, myself included. I'm working on another Icon Moments pack. And so you have fodder that is that is still up. Now, I think that changes today. I think that changes today. And if you have any of these cards still, last chance, in my opinion, to cash them out. Again, you're going to have lightning rounds, marquee matchups, whenever it does end up dropping. And, um, you know, that's going to supply this stuff and probably drop some of the prices on the game today. Fodder has been lowest on the weekends in general. And usually EA don't drop insane SBCs on Fridays. Sometimes they do. Um, I can think of two insane SBCs on Fridays that we've had this year, Flashback Benzema and Winter Wildcard Zaha that made fodder go up on that actual Friday. But that's two Fridays out of like the whole entire year so far. Doesn't happen that much. If we do get a Cahill SBC today, if it is incredibly priced and it's, I mean, the card upgrade that we've seen looks pretty solid, but if they were to upgrade um, and give him four, he should be hopefully four star, four star. 
um, at the very least. But if they were to do something crazy with this card today and make it really, really cheap, that might make fodder go up just for a Prem Striker fun card to use that people would get excited about. Kind of like the Quagliarella from last week. May not be as meta as a Quagliarella, but I'm just kind of saying that if the Cahill SBC is really insane, then that could make fodder go up a little bit. But I would say err on the side of caution and sell those cards, in my opinion. Take the easy cash on them. Um, and then also speaking of a couple other things from yesterday, road to the finals that dropped off horrendous in price. Ansu Fati with Barcelona, no more upgrades for the Barcelona boys. Um, you know, these cards had the upgrades priced into them so much. Ansu Fati, 300,000 coins now. He was 700K yesterday. He's down over 50% in price. But, you know, Depay and Fati were both grossly overpriced um, on this market just because they had so, they were so big of favorites to do well in the Europa League. And their, their loss yesterday, which I know is saddening to a lot of fans out there, myself included, um, you know, has these cards in the mud. Now, what's going to happen with them, right? Ansu Fati was down all the way at like, 270 and 280 I think was his absolute lowest now I bought a couple of these in the 280s I was really hoping that he would go to like 310 320 he's not he's not quite there he's right around 305 um, I think that we saw this with Lucas Hernandez and Taliso earlier on in, in the week today what you're going to see on Friday is people wake up they'll sell their Fatis and they'll sell their Depays once again and those guys will drop back down and then they might have a slight rise back up. So like right now, I'm not really making that much on these Fatis. I bought them a little bit too late. That's why I only bought a couple of them uh, because of that. But then people are going to be like, oh my goodness, Fatih is so cheap. Um, and, you know, he'll get low and then he'll probably rise back up later on in the day today. So watch out for these cards if you want to try them out or give them a go um, because those should be... Those should get kind of cheap again today on Friday at some point. And then I know I bought a Quagliarelli yesterday for 68K, except that was too cheap for a 92 rated fodder card. And then Illicit lost yesterday as well, and his price was down. Denayer is down a horrendous as well. Um, 100 and watch this card. This is a great example of a card to watch today. One of the most hyped up center backs in the League One. Now, He's 150K. You look at this card like, yes, it's not going to upgrade anymore, but look at those stats. You know, if this card drops back down to like 120s or 130s, then I would definitely say that's a watch in my opinion. So just a couple shouts for those, those cards that are going to not be upgraded anymore, but still have value on the game because they're now so much cheaper. People can try them out that weren't able to before, and they still have really, really good stats. Last thing I want to talk about is if you didn't see this, and Kunku 91 Player of the Month SBC... There's actually two Nkunku Player of the Month that are out right now in this game. The 90 rated and the 91. It's crazy. He got back-to-back -back -back Player of the Months. But this one, the brand new one with higher rated stats, he's Hullet Gang with two 90 rated stats overall. This one is 200,000 coins to craft and complete. And the, the lower rated card is 330k. So kind of funny to see how the market has dropped off and how EA value these SBCs. Of course, one month between them in total. So... It is what it is, uh, but this one is a great, great value in my opinion. If you are looking for somewhere for your last minute player picks that you might be saving up today, I'm going to do a few of these, craft them up and, and save them uh, for the new promo team today myself. But if you're doing that and you got some extra cards to craft and um, you maybe you're opening a few packs, I think that Nkuku is a really good shout. He might get an insane team of the season card, but uh, I think that is probably one of the best values for, for price and at the time of the game. Uh, that in Google car, I think is pretty good value. So that was our player of the month SPC from EA that a lot of people were talking about on this game. So again, second week of foot captains. We'll see if EA surprises us with anything. We're supposed to be getting daily icon moment SPCs as well. Would we get a Zidane or a Maldini today is a big question mark as well. If they did one of those big boy SPCs, that could potentially impact the market a little bit in terms of fodder. Uh, but again, it's, it's just a lot of we'll see with the content potentially coming today. So that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.